All right, now we're reading the sand. Whoa. It sounds a lot like House of Leaves, huh? Let's see what we'll do here. All right, this will be kind of fun. I haven't read this one. Uh, this is Sam. It takes place in... Uh, we'll do this. We'll do this. It starts in 1947. So a lot of the, a lot of the lingo you hear is, uh, is actually from that time, just after uh, World War II. And uh, because Sam and Haley are moving so quickly through time, everything about them is constantly blurring. You sort of have to imagine Every single thing is reconfiguring around them. So even names don't stay the same. There's this kind of an anti-materialist view towards words. Words are, are never stuck. So even the names of people are going to sort of alter along the way. But he has a, he has a problem with this, with this manager of this restaurant called Via Pipopolis. Maybe, yes, it's time to move along. Spare some our misery before the world regains what always we allude to when we're gone. Four and a half. Only ours, honey. Caribou and hummingbirds perish besides Mapocho, Vistula, Yamuna, river by city where we roam freely until the next shift begins. Only now Haley suddenly pops. Let's quit. I only chew my thumb, worried sick. Via Papopolis. Hey, move that broom, Puzza. Is Eddie Bill quippy? He's your boss. Until at last, with a wife splitting, Via Papopolis spins around to hash it out with me. Even if Biazetti, even if Bezetti Bill's still near, scour the crapper, cracker. I oblige until Viroropolis clogs it again, this time leaving the dripping overflow of all behinds to slosh a floor. Let's scoot this boot, Haley flies. You can shove off too, big gruesome shares, which cannot satisfy him. Viroropolis bound now to batter something. The St. Louis restaurant stills, and there's a crowd. Just going about my way, I cautiously slink out. Not unless you want me to beat you to death. Very scary, but I still start to giggle. Terror answers. So I, with down hop trips from the now rampaging Viroropolis, bolt slop slippity quick across the floor, onto tables, pounding goblets of bubbly and petite fours, shattering plates not even my left wrist silver twist could afford. Diners stand back. I run faster, hollering. No wonder. The St. Louis juke joint evacuates. Chairs knocked over. All while not accepting my dash, Via Tatopoulos plows after me, spreading an angry wake of ding-dong disaster, howling mad, hurling whatever he grabs, mugs, saucers, flatware, and bowls, until with clenching fists, he almost squeegees me. <laughs> Haley, our time together threatened, also pursues. Ball change tumble for commies and knees, stumbling just past his spearings and bash, leaping for a careening pie cart on which I slipped up more of his attempts to wring my neck and leave me bent. Assortments of dishes now lofting by, exploding around me, glasses too. I roll on through the kitchen, just missing flying ropes of salty dough. Via Tatopoulos does it, spangled, tangled, wrangled near the souffle station by unleavened bread, hucked by the still surprised and chuckling swing cooks, who all laugh. Ha! Aprons rubbernecking the mayhem, desperate, stark, marvelous. If I'm around the block, corner cutting by shops selling fans, baths, mattresses too, September's rattling merry-go-rounds to the front of the St. Louis diner, where nearby Ocapis lie hacked, zipping by the boom and honk of traffic, finding Haley gone, already quit. Here now, lost among the turmoil of arriving fire engines, sirens blaring, and Bobby Soxer's hep, Bobby Soxer's hep cats and jive bombers do a sidewalk mill. Until behind, I turn to find, turning to find me, Haley, Heel high, already hugging me, tightly. There. The crowd suddenly parts, and I'm awed by the bruised, split-lipped scowl still clawing after me. Plaster bound with splint and sling, yet vehemently too swinging a mop, ready to drag not cold, expunge me from anyone's hours, when by some menace Haley manages, Via Zizopolis suddenly stops, quails, slumps. Please don't leave us. Betrayed by the way his life ebbs, slows, divorces, lets us go. Continuously, 
Haley brutalizing the Isisopolis with her freedom's allowance. Even Bazzetti Bill steps forth raging. You laughed at us, you're dead to us. And with that turns his back, clams the table list with offers of chairs, free pastry scraps. Even helps out doubly confused via Zizopolis, just a couple of stupid kids. And the gig's over, dumped. Haley hardly stalls, and with smoothie floss even readies me to cut loose, tossing out, we go to free the world. But Bazzetti Bill tries for the last stab. You go to lose the world, you always do. No, we go to free you, and we do. Shuffling off from the St. Louis Drive, shuffling off from the St. Louis Drive through drudgery, I kiss her cheek. Now what? Who cares? But where? How? Passing pedestrian blurrings, going out of business, rushing around us, until somehow we're found by an anxious executor who, on behalf of the round table regulars, now dead and buried, hands over to us at their request all we own. Paid, gassed up, ready to roll. Our new Tucker torpedo on the ball. All ready, set, jet to go from St. Louis, Tokyo, Dublin, Baghdad, Kiev, Berlin, Cairo, London. Every city pair, air brisker, wishes riskier, chasing us to our ages. Thank you.